recording? I don't know if we're recording. Okay, I guess we are here. So, anyway, so Dan, <clears throat> hey, so here's my uh, response to your response to my video. It's kind of funny. So, um, sorry it's taking me so long to get back with you. It's been two days. We were on vacation, um, went down to Oklahoma City, your neck of the woods, for a couple of days, and so I'm back at the house. It's spring break this week, and uh, first I had to find the video and then record this, and so once again I apologize for taking so long. So anyway, uh, wife is a friend. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think that's uh, vitally important um, to have a friendship. Not only the wife as the lover, but wife as friend, and. You know, just someone that you can pal around with and just be in the same room and laugh and and I think to do that, to cultivate that relationship, you need to or the people need to and, and I don't know everything about it, so I'm I'm learning as we go. We're nineteen years. It's nineteen years, right? Yeah. So kinda of nineteen years into it, you guys are real close behind us so um, you know it's important I, I this is what I think it's important to uh, be friends and to be friends just like to be friends with anyone you have to spend time with them and cultivate that friendship and so the way we've chosen to cultivate our friendship is to you know do little fun datey things and definitely not take each other too seriously. Um, kids, you know, kids in the mix. Um, kids can be all-consuming with their their little needs and the things that they want to do and things that need to be done. Of course, you have to do that and take care of that stuff. Um, but there are times, and it's very necessary, I think, to get away from the kids for a while, find a babysitter or someone to watch the kids and let, uh, you know, the man and the wife get away for an evening, a, a short dinner, a long dinner, maybe go to a movie like we like to do or whatever, you know, the husband and the wife need to find common ground, what they like to do both, maybe play, go play putt-putt, shoot rifles, I don't know, go jogging. Uh, whatever you know, whatever the husband and wife likes to do together, to spend time with each other and uh, get away from the kids for a while, so that they can focus on each other and and so they can focus serving one another. Him serving her and she serving him, putting each other first. And uh, it's kind of like the oxygen mask in the airplane, you know what. The first inclination is to uh, put them, you know, they tell you to put the oxygen mask on yourself uh, first before you put it on your child. And uh, the reason for that is uh, if you don't, then you may both wind up perishing and you don't want that. Your first inclination is to put the, you know, immediately, what, what do I do? I put the oxygen mask on the kid first. But, uh, Wisdom tells us that it's probably better to put it on yourself first so that you can save you and the child. And I think that's the same thing with friendship um, with your wife. You need in, from, with a friendship uh, with the husband, with the wife, that you need to uh, put the oxygen mask on yourself first so that you can save the rest of the family. And part of that is developing and uh, developing the relationship with uh, your wife or your spouse so that there's harmony in the house um, the kids you, you kind of get refreshed um, you're a team in helping the kids grow and develop and meet their needs and then it's not a me and you doing this but it's an us doing it so developing friendships very important and uh, it's so easy for the 
little needs to all get in the way and then pretty soon you know you're like uh, two shifts passing in the night you don't uh, you don't know each other as well as you used to and it kind of drifted apart that happens that happens to all of us from time to time so it's when you see that happening or to keep it from ever happening prioritize your friendship with your with, the, with your wife and uh, create those times create uh, predetermine what you're going to do to develop that uh, friendship and then execute um, because it's very important to create a culture in your family um, uh, to create that environment where your wife is fulfilled you're fulfilled the kids are fulfilled their needs are met and everybody's happy of course yeah, everybody's happy. So <clears throat> that's kind of what I'm thinking. It's kind of a long-winded answer. Celeste, would you like to add anything to developing a friniship with your spouse? Huh? Said, no, <laughs> she says, no, that was great. She hates being on the camera. So anyway, that's it. Uh, yeah, and the, the YouTube thing, yeah, YouTube's great. Uh, they've added a lot of cool features here, and uh, they make it super easy to um, respond and track stats and whatnot. So let me know if this helps. Um, there's a, if, now, if I can add, um, if I can type some comments below this video, I'm going to add a link to Willie George, the pastor of our church, Church on the Move, uh, his uh, sermon on friendship with your spouse, which was the last installment in the Stuck in the Rut series. I think it's really good and uh, answers a lot of questions that people have about having our friendship with their spouse. Man, I've been talking for seven minutes and 16 seconds. Got to get off of here. So now, hopefully you can respond faster than I did, and I'll do better. Talk to you later. Bye.